Hello there guys and welcome back to another car modeling tutorial and the last episode we started to work on some of the trim and we created this section for the window here which as you can see I applied our darker material to it and flipped it over here too. Um, we also worked on our trim at the front. I did say we will jump around the back um, but we're not going to do that just yet um, because I would like to get the front um, finished first. Um, I think so we'll do is we'll jump onto the hood scoop here and just having a look for bringing in my reference image we can see that the kind of plastic comes um, quite far forward and it kind of merges um, onto that edge there so I think what we'll want to do is we'll want to think about using our existing geometry um, for that now let's delete these two faces here uh, so that leaves us with just the ones that we have here um, what we could do is let's create um, an edge which is going to go, a uh, vertices which is going to go from here to this edge here because we do have um, a slight continuation. Um, but I think, let's see, yeah, we can go to that edge there. Um, I'm tempted to say it could be the next edge forward. Um, so it could actually be on here, something like, something like that. Inside there. Um, let's actually, let's actually do something like this. Let's bring that here and let's bring another line along here. Um, let's go a bit closer. So let's bring this around here and this up there. So do something like that. And I'm going to bring that up there. And let's stitch these edges here. So we've got something that looks like that. Um, let's grab these ones too. And I'm going to bring those up just a little bit. Um, actually, no, let's take them down just a little bit. Something like that. And then um, we can actually target weld down there. Maybe take that in. Let's ditch those extra vertices and let's take this. Now I'm actually going to snap and then ebbs slightly pull away. All those. And then we want it to be maybe just ever so slightly underneath. And bring this a little bit closer and maybe drop those ever so slightly down as well. Something like that. So now this face here, we're going to grab both of these and we're going to hit mesh. And before we actually do, let's not do that first, let's grab the inner edges here. For each of these, and I'm going to hit Control E. Now this doesn't go too far in, um, something like that. You can straighten that off. Um, so something like that looks good. And then what we'll do is let's grab these lower edges here. Just bring those up. Something like that. Because it doesn't look like there's a massive change. And then let's grab that inner corner there and we'll bring that this way. Something like that. 
Okay. So now what we can do is let's grab all of these new faces. Just the inner ones for there. And let's go to um, Edit Mesh. We can extract those two. Um, so let's just... If we do a test here, we can see how that's curving around when I hit three. Um, obviously, that's not yet, but we can resolve that. Um, so we can see this is start to curving, um, which is good because we do want it to curve around and maintain that. So that's that's looking pretty good. Um, what we will want to do is we are going to want to extrude this section. So I'm going to isolate the selection here by clicking on this icon. And we do want to extrude these inner portions here. But what we don't want to actually do is let's not take these ones just yet. Let's grab these ones and we'll bring these in because we want these to kind of sit just inside of what we actually have in terms of our scoop. So when we bring those in, we don't want this to protrude. We want this to be on the correct side, like so. Let's also um, grab these vertices at the top. And I'm just going to pull those down ever so slightly so that there's a gap. And then at the side here, let's pull them in ever so slightly. And then at the front here as well, let's do the same. Just to kind of force um, a gap inside there. Um, we do want to extrude. So let's grab all these edges here. And hit Control E. And let's just, on the world, let's just pull these up. We'll pull them up a crazy amount um, so that we can see and work with them quite easily. So I'm going to select my vertices here. I'm going to hold V. And we're going to snap that to, oops. We're going to snap that to the section there just to fill in that gap that we've just created. I'm going to do this all the way around. Because again, we just want to exaggerate the fact, um, exaggerate the lips on there slightly, which is good. Um, now I can't remember what I've done so far. Okay, so we've taken that inside. So what we want to do with this is we want to, those edges that we've just created here and here, we want to hit extrude on these and we want these to come down. Yeah, so we want those there to come down. Um, and then we'll extrude these two on the world just to match the actual body. So we see we brought the body in here. Um, so I'm just going to bring those in roughly to match those body lines, which is fine. And then what that will allow us to do to make sure we're not clipping anything in there, which we're not, which is fine. What that will allow us to do then is to weld this vertices up here. So we've got these ones going down, these ones coming this way. Um, so when it comes to extruding those, um, when it comes to smoothing those, sorry, rather than sticking and holding that edge, when I hit three this time, it'll start to cut around. Then we hit three here. We can see that that's going to match that curve in there as well. Obviously, we'll tighten those up um, a little bit better as well. But we can see that those curves are starting to match around there, which is good. Okay, that should be fine. Um, we also, in here, we have um, some... Let's see if these are on 
power well, across the nut. Um, let's see. So it looks like it looks like probably where we have our lines just now. Um, it looks like that's probably about where that portion is. So it looks like they're probably here. Um, we're going to need to take this portion in further because we are going to need it to match what we actually have. Let's also take this one too. Again, just to make it match nicely, uh, so it's nice and uniform. And I think what we'll want to do here, um, let's take each of these in as well. I think what we'll do with these is let's just straighten those off. Here those in. Um, we are going to want to maybe insert an edge loop inside here. Maybe somewhere like that, about in line with the top there. Maybe not quite in line, maybe something like that. Um, and we need now to kind of um, bring something here. Um, it looks like they're rough squares. Um, Let's maybe drop another edge, just something like that. Um, and then let's draw in here. I'm drawing something like that. I think that should be fine. Let's hit extrude on this and see if we can pull this up top. So it looks like that's a, a half decent size. Um, pull that up there. Okay. And that looks okay. Um, so we can now maybe draw a similar shape up here. extra faces. I'm also going to delete the ones at the back. And then let's just quickly merge this up top. Something like that. It's not looking too bad. the shape that's inside there. Just going to taper it a little bit as well. Okay, that's looking okay. That's looking quite good. Again, um, what we'll probably end up doing at some point is we will be refining all of the details in this, so we will come back. Um, I'm going to drop that a little bit because it does seem to be hiking up quite a lot here, so let's take that down. So 
something like that. Okay, so that's looking good. Let's throw on a docker material on there too. Something like that. And I think that's looking quite good. Inside there, I think maybe the hood itself. So let's grab our vertices here and here. It does look like it's drooping a little bit in the center there. Let me pull that up. Okay, I think that's looking a bit better. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, we could jump on to the window, but I'm kind of tempted to think about the headlights first. Um, not the actual lights themselves, but just kind of the, the surround that goes with them. Um, it looks like it's fairly simple cylinders where they're kind of cut off at the top. We can see here, we can see that they're kind of independent of the actual section. Um, cuts into the mesh there, and they've kind of got this adjoining piece in between. Um, so let's maybe think about those just now. Probably best thing to go for is a um, a pipe. Let's go with a pipe. Let's bring this in. We can also do actually. We can also apply our material to our front diffuser here. That might look pretty cool. Some deal there too. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so we got a pipe here. Um, let's think about its positioning. Uh, so let's rotate that around. Let's go something. Let's go ninety degrees. I think 20 should be okay. Uh, we could reduce it down and smooth it off later. So let's maybe go for maybe something like 12 because we are going to want to do a little bit of work on this. Um, it might be nice to keep it a lower poly. Uh, let's maybe, maybe go 16. Because we do want to straighten that top off too. Um, yeah, I definitely do want to straighten that top. Let's go here. Um, let's reduce that thickness down to maybe 0 0.1. And let's scale this down here. And, um, I think it looks like the first light here is actually an intake. It's got some DRLs in there by the looks of it, but it definitely looks like an intake as well. Um, so I'm going to bring this down. I want to keep the right kind of size for that and let's see how we're sitting inside here. Um, in our side view, let's make sure that we're not protruding because look, we can't see it in here. So let's maybe put it somewhere just about there. You can maybe see a little bit of a line inside. Okay. Um, let's grab this edge because it does look like we're not actually far enough in. It does look like we are at the top, um, but we'll take it anyway. Something like that. It looks like it goes past just a little bit. So, um, in, let's also take these again, all along here, and let's just move them up just to ensure that there's no clipping. Let's maybe scale that down, something like, something like that, um, and then it looks like be realistically about here is where we want to actually cut off so let's actually undo that scale let's just move it up do something like that so we've got our very bottom of our um, circle here and then we've got that very top edge up there let's now grab our faces 
and select all of these. I'm not going to want any more. And let's grab these edges and let's see if we can hit edit mesh and bridge on those. Just to take that up there. Um, I am going to grab these edges here and pull them down because I do want to make sure that the edges that we have here are in line or as thick as they're and then disappear at the top so that's fine. Let's grab our edge loop and let's drop one in maybe about here. Just have slightly in from there. And let's hit Ctrl D and we'll move this one over. And we'll get that in line with the next lights here. Okay, so that's looking good. So we're just working on the trim here. Um, it does look like what we want is we do want to now extrude off of these. So let's actually firstly um, combine these two elements. So I'm going to select them both. We'll go to mesh and then combine. Let's select that shroud and then just hide everything else. Um, we can see that we're popping through up here, which is no good. Um, so let's maybe adjust let's adjust the shroud there to match. Let's maybe bring our body back in. Let's maybe actually then see about taking these in the way, just to find a, a good balance between the two, because we don't want to um, do something like that. And then we want to make sure that that's kind of all part of one smooth transition, so we can see that's going in there nicely, which is good. Um, let's see, let me look at my references real quick and have a look, zoom in. So we can see on here that we do actually lose the light a little bit in that top corner, just like we have, which will be fine. Okay. It does look like as well on that image in particular that up here is far more significant um, of a drop. Let's open that down. Okay. So let's go back here again. We will be doing um, a full details section um, once we've done that. So we will bring that in after. Um, don't have much time left. So let's see what we have. Let's go for, let's delete these outer faces back here. Uh, maybe keep that one. We'll delete the same ones back here. And then we just really want to bridge um, oops, don't want to build them. We want to edit mesh, bridge and we're just going to bridge all of these gaps, all these new gaps that we've created here. Apologies, this episode is going to be a little bit longer, I think. And we'll bridge inside here as well. So we've got that nice gap forming in between there. Um, let's actually now off this face here. Um, I'm going to extrude down. Yeah, something like that. And I'm going to delete the faces inside here as well. Actually, let's go for that. And then let's target weld inside here, like so. 
And then I'm going to grab these faces down here, all the way around here as well. We'll hit Control E. And we'll just extrude, extrude to the point that we're through that shroud section. And let's quickly tidy this up. Because we don't want to be poking too far underneath here. Let's just pull these edges. We'll use the edges that we've already got to kind of help. No need to create any more. So that's looking okay for now. Um, I am going to look at more images in the next, in between this and the next video to see if this actually needs to um, come in the way. Let's actually just have a quick look now. It does look like they're fairly straight, um, which it, yeah, it just looks a little bit weird. Um, I'm going to give them a slight rotation inside there. Something like that, about 12 degrees of rotation. Um, just because it's looking a little bit weird than being so straight. Um, maybe about 5%, something like that. Find a nice balance in the middle there. Cool. Alright, guys, um, I'm quickly just going to color these into the darker color. We will have more details to those in the future with some bevels and stuff and then the actual headlights in the center themselves. But I think what we'll do is we'll stop there um, for this episode just here. Um, so give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for, for more videos. Obviously if you didn't like the video, hit that dislike button and I will see you in the next one.